What's up Trophy Hunter, welcome to my platinum walkthrough for Handling Extinction is Forever. We're jumping right into it, the game starts with a tutorial which takes about 2 minutes, meanwhile I will explain a bit about the trophies. The tutorial is easy, just keep running to the right and follow the instruction on the screen. In this game we play as a mother fox and the goal is to survive 30 days with all 4 cubs alive. In the wars it's basically pretty easy and in case one of your cubs die, simply go back to the main menu and hit continue. Most of the trophies in this game are missable and it's very important that you eat or hunt the same food as me in the video. Because one trophy requires to eat each kind of food in the game. And there's also a trophy for killing no animals for 5 days. So in short, some trophies require a little planning over several days. This walkthrough is with commentary, so I hope you have an easy way to follow it. We are still in the tutorial, so keep running to the right and eventually you will reach a burning tree. So we can't go any further here, so go left and after some boards you need to go up by pressing the cross button. Now keep running left. Now climb up by holding the cross button and then run to the right. Now a deer will push you down, the game says press the cross button but you can't escape. So just wait till the deer pushes you down. So press the cross button to get up and now we can unlock the first missable trophy. Barking in the rain, we need to bark 3 times in a row when it's raining. So once you gain control of a character simply press the circle button 3 times. Once done, run to the right. Now press the cross button to go up and go to the left. Go up here and then right to find the first cave. Press the cross button to enter the cave. This place is very important because we always have to go back here after a night. So now feel free to customize your cups.
So now we have night 1 and it's time to find some specific food. First we need to get the deer, so we have to go all the way back where we drop down. So now check the deer, press the cross button to get some food and then run all the way back to the cave. So night 2, time to find another specific food, run to the left, now run to the right. And now right again. Use the R1 button to sneak and hunt a fish. To catch the fish press the cross button, once you have the fish run back to the cave. So now we need to find the missing cup, so simply follow the purple traces. Once you near a purple object, press the L1 button. So this was hint number 1, now keep running to the right. Here is hint number 2, press the L1 button. Now keep running to the right. Down here and right. And press the L1 button to interact with this object. Now keep running all the way to the right and eventually you will reach a tree. Interact with the tree and press the square button to pick up the apple and then run all the way back to the cave.
So in night 4 we can finally work towards to the trophy Mother Love. You need to pet your cubs at least once for 5 days straight. So every time you leave the cave, pet your cubs by pressing up on your d-pad. This trophy seems a bit buggy because I unlocked it a lot later. I think I got the trophy on day 13 or something. So no worries if it doesn't unlock immediately after 5 days. So keep running to the right here and now go up. Now run to the right. Be careful now there are some traps on your way but they are random. Simply avoid the traps by pressing the cross button to jump over it. Now interact with the bush to get some berries. You can drop the food by pressing the square button. So now keep running to the right. Go up here and then left. So now we need to hunt a rabbit. You can sneak up and hunt it down with the cross button. If the rabbit run away, you can hide in the bush. Once you hunt down the rabbit, do not give it to your cups now. Because we're going to try now for the trophy Tasty, we need to enter the cave with a full stomach. So hunt down the rabbit and then run to the left. Now go down and left again. Now go up and run to the right. Climb up the tree here. Go to the right and push down the box. Now climb down the tree and go to the right. Go up and right and wait till your cubs eat the apple. Now run to the left. Go down here and run to the right. Now dig through the fence, this will automatically drop the rabbit. And now go back to the cave and you should unlock the trophy Tasty. If you don't get the trophy Tasty, no worries, there are plenty of other chances to get this trophy. You will also learn not the first cup skill, Jump. This skill is story related but a few ones are hidden. And yes we need to learn all of them to unlock a trophy. So do not forget you pet your cups. Once done, run to the right and take the first down. Now right again. Watch out for some traps. So now sneak and try to catch the mouse. Give the mouse the cups by pressing the square button and then go all the way back to the cave. So night 6 do not forget to pet your cups and then follow the purple traces. If the purple traces disappear simply press the L1 button and they will appear again. So simply follow the purple traces and look for the 3 specific items.
So go up here, then left, interact with the bush to get some berries. Now go up and then go to the right. Interact with the first object and then keep moving to the right. Interact with the second object. Now dig through the fence. And now keep going to the left. Now interact with the third object and then feel free to get some food and then we need to go all the way back to the cave. To your left is a mouse and up there is a bush. This is optional. It's more depending on your food bar. So if you have enough food you don't really have to hunt down the mouse or something. If everything done correctly, we should unlock now the trophy Detox Diet for not feeding our cubs trash for 6 days in a row. So day 7, pet your cubs. Once done, keep running to the right. Go down here and then right. Now jump up here and then go to the right. Now press the circle button to bark and you will get a barking fox doesn't bite. Now run to the left, eventually you will reach a tree, interact with it to get an apple. Now keep running left and go all the way back to your cave. So night 8, do not forget to pet your cups.
So now run to the right. Go up here and then right. Interact with the bush, drop the berries and then go left. Jump down and then go to the right. Now interact with the trap to get a trophy. Now run to the right. Go up here and then run to the left and interact with the trash. Give some of the trash your cups. Sometimes you can get more than one trash and sometimes you can't get some trash. It's a bit random. If you don't get some trash food here, no worries, there are plenty of other opportunities. So once done, go all the way back to the cave. Another night, another pet, pet your cups and then follow the purple traces. So run to the right. Go up here and try to get some berries and then go back to the left. Jump down and go to the right. Go up here and to right and interact with the first object. Now keep running to the right. Interact with the second object and then keep running to the right. Now interact with the third object. Now run to the left and take the first up. Now run to the right. So go up here and then keep running to the right, stop here because we can learn now the second cup skill. So once you learned it, go to the left, jump down and left again.
jump down and left. Now go up here. Left again. Jump up and then left. Now let your cup dig for some food here. Now run to the left. Now go up here, run left. Now up again and right. Now interact with this vending machine to get a can. Now give the can your cups and then run to the left. Jump down, run to the right. Down here and left. So now you can learn another cup skill, go down, now check your cup by going to the right and then go left and wait for the cup. Press the triangle button to learn a new skill, squeeze. So now go back up and then left. Go down here and left to find some trash. Feed your cups if necessary. Once done run to the left, dig through the fence and go all the way back to the cave. So guys, night 10, first thing, pet your cups. So now run to the left, go down and left through the fence. Be careful, I totally run into a trap this time, but like I said before, they're random, so it's possible that there is no trap in your playthrough. However, keep running to the left. Go up here and then right. Now up and right. 
get some berries for your cups and then keep running to the right. Here's another chance to get some more food if necessary. After that keep going to the right. So now press the triangle button to get some mushrooms. So now keep running to the right. Go up here and then left. Now press the triangle button to get another special food item. And now run all the way back to the cave. So in night 11 there isn't really much to do, just pat your cups, then run to the left a bit and then go back to the cave. If you've done everything correctly you should also unlock now Peaceful Instinct, do not kill any animal for 5 days. So night 12, pet your cups and then follow the purple traces. So run to the right, take the first down and right again. Now go up and then right. Interact with the first object and then keep going to the right. If necessary get some food here for your cups, then keep going to the right. Interact with the second object. Now go up and then right. Now climb up the tree and get the egg. This is another special food item we need. Pick up the egg by pressing the square button, then climb down the tree and give it to your cups. So now run to the left.
interact with the third object and then enter the cave in front of you. So night 13 pet your cups I was finally able to get the trophy mother's love. I hope you guys too, once done run to the left. Interact with the bush to get some berries and then run back to the right. Go down here and then left. Go to the right, interact with the tree and then run all the way back to the cave. So night 14, run to the right. Press the triangle button here to get some food and then run back to the left. On your way back to the cave you should encounter now an enemy. Simply run away from him. So this is the bad guy, now run to the right, take the first down and then keep running to the right. Eventually you will reach a bush, just hide in there. Just wait a bit, sometimes the enemy follows you and sometimes not. It's a bit random, so simply wait a bit and then run back to the cave. So in night 15 we need to follow some purple traces, so run to the left. Jump down here and then keep running left. Go up here and left. Now interact with this tree here and then keep running left.
get some berries and then go back right and take the first down. Keep running right. Now interact with the first object and then run right. The second object is not far away, so keep running right and interact with the second object. Now go up and then left. So now try to get the third object, you can't. Now press the triangle button on the tree to learn a new cup skill. Now climb up the tree and then go to the right. So once you trigger this event, go left and down the tree. And finally you can interact with the third object. After that you can run all the way back to the cave. So, Knight 16, run to the right and take the first down. Run to the right and take the first down again. Now run to the right and you will get stopped by a human. She will give you some food, after that press up on your d-pad to unlock a trophy. Once you unlock the trophy, you can pet the fox, keep running to the right. Jump down here and then right. Jump up here, run to the right. So in this area we can get a chicken which is another special food item. You will also unlock now chicken dinner for hunting a chicken the first time. Drop the chicken and then keep going to the right.
climb up here and then move to the left. Jump down and left. So now stop, turn around and jump up here. Now go left to the cage to learn a new cube skill. This is one of the few skills which are missable. So now you can go all the way back to the cave. On your way back there's a small chance that you will encounter another human, just bite him or run away, it's up to you. So knight 17, run to the right. Now dig your way through the tree. And now go to the right. So now we need to help this little guy here. To help him we need to go all the way up, but be careful this guy can kill you. So use the rocks and bushes to hide and only move when he is looking away. It's not a big deal if you die here, you will just restart the day. So go all the way around till you reach the tiny badger. Then pick up the badger by using the square button and bring him back to the mother.
So once you get the trophy, we should hunt now real quick some food. So go to the left. Go down here and then right. Jump down and then left. Down here there is a rabbit, try to catch him. Feed your cups and then go all the way back to the cave. So in night 18 it's time to follow some traces. But before we following the traces, night 18 is a very good time to get the trophy lullaby. This means we need to pet a scared cup. So go down here and then right. Go down again and right. Jump down and then left and eventually you should reach a hole. They spawn at random locations and most of the time in night 18 you can find one right here. If you don't find one you can simply restart the day and run around and looking for one. Or you can try your luck on another day because there are plenty of opportunities. To get the trophy let the owl attack your cup and then pet the cup. This should give you the trophy lullaby. So now you can follow the purple traces. If you can't find an owl here, simply keep running through the forest and looking for one. And then once you have the trophy you can always go back to the main menu, hit continue to restart the day. So jump up here and then run to the right. Dig through the tree and run to the right. Jump down here and then go to the left. Now jump down again and interact with the first object. Now run to the left. If necessary, press the triangle button here to get some food for your cups. Now keep moving to the left. Be careful, there is a trap in my playthrough. So probably you will also encounter one. So before you go up here, go left and interact with the second object. Now run to the left to find the third object. So now move to the right and run back to the opening.
Now go through this opening and keep running right. So right in front of you there is a special food item, the lunchbox. Be sure to pick it up and give it to your cups. So once done, jump down here and move to the right. Jump down here and then go left. Probably you will encounter a human, just attack him by pressing the cross button and then run all the way back to the cave. So knight 19, run to the right and dig through the tree. Go right and bark at this guy here. Press the circle button. He will give you some food. Once done, go all the way back to the cave. So knight 20, run to the left. Go up here and run to the right. So eventually you should reach the badger now. Press the cross button to use this shortcut. This should reward you with a lot of food. Now simply go back and go all the way back to the cave.
So night 21, it's time to follow some purple traces. Run to the right. Dig through the tree and run to the right. Jump down here and then move left. Interact with the first object and then run to the right. Jump up here and right. Jump down here and then left. Go up and left. Interact with the second object and then go left. Feel free to get some food for your cups. Once done, keep running left. Go up here and left, interact with the third object and then enter the cave in front of you. So this is now our new home. So first of all, go to the right. Now jump down here and then left. Make some scratches here and then keep moving left. Now climb up this pipe and then go left. So now jump down here and slightly to the right you can find some chips which is another special food item. Give the chips to your cups then climb up and run to the right. Slow down here there is an enemy which can kill you. Wait till he is looking away and then keep running right. So jump down here and run right. So jump down here and right again.
go up here and then left. Jump up here and enter the factory. Go to the right and climb up the pipe. Go left, jump up here, now use the sneak button to hunt down a pigeon. I messed up the first one, but no worries, there is also a second one. If you mess up both, you can run back and then come back again and they will respawn. The pigeon is the last special food item we need. Hunting down the second pigeon will automatically trigger a cutscene. Now go left and press the triangle button to help your cup to unlock a new skill. So before you leave the place be sure that you pick up the pigeon. Now go back to your cups and feed them the pigeon and you will unlock the trophy Omnivore. If you don't get the trophy, you probably missed one special food item. So now make your way back to the cave. So in night 23 it's time to follow some traces. So move to the right, be careful there's an enemy which can kill you with one shot. Jump down here and run right. Jump down here and then right. Interact with the first object, then go left and up. Now run left. Stay here and wait because the cage in front of you is already object number two. So once you can interact with it, keep running to the left. And right here you can find object number 3. So now go all the way back to the cave, but do not enter it yet. So go down here and then left. Now use this shortcut to go back to the forest.
Now run to the right, be careful there is another owl. So if you haven't already unlocked the trophy Lullaby, now is your chance. Right here is the owl, if you have already the trophy just sneak. Just dig through the fence and keep running to the right. Jump down here and right. Now use the new cup skill to get the golden egg, which will rivet you with another trophy. Once done, make your way back to the cave. So in night 24 we basically just have to pass some time, so run to the right. Jump down here and right. Make some scratches here and then keep moving to the right. There should be a mouse, so use sneak and hunt down a mouse and give it to your cups. Now run to the right and enter the cave. So day 25, it's time to follow some traces, so go to the left. Interact with object number 1 and then run to the left.
Object number two is right here. Interact with it and then keep moving left. If necessary, you can get some food here by barking at the chicken. Feel free to hunt the chicken down if you need some food for your cups. After that, keep following the traces. So go left. Now interact with object number three. To your right you can get some food for your cups. After that keep running right. Stop here, jump up and then right. Just keep running and eventually you get trapped. Now you can unlock the last cup skill. Simply press the triangle button to unlock the last skill. Once you're free, simply run back to the cave. In night 26 there is nothing special to do, so simply keep running in circle, feed your cup and go back to the cave. So night 27, we are almost done with the game, follow the traces. Jump down here and right. Stop here, jump up and then left. Interact with object number one, then keep running left. Feel free to get some food for your cups here and then proceed to the left. Go up here and then run right. Stop and up here and then right. Now go up here and right. Jump down and left. Jump down and left. And now interact with object number two. And now keep running to the right. So this is object number three, after that go all the way back to the cave. 
On your way back to the cave, feel free to get some food for your cubs. No worries, there are plenty of opportunities along the way. So knight 28, follow the traces, jump down here and move right. Interact with object number one and then run right. Jump down here and right. Feel free to get some food for your cups. Once done, move right. Jump up here and then run right. Interact with the second object and then keep running right. Jump down here and go left. Jump down again, go to the right. Jump down, go to the right to find your missing cup. So before you leave, go towards to the scavenger and press up on your d-pad to unlock another trophy. <laughs> Once you unlock the trophy beyond wards, it's time to go back to the cave.
In night 29 we just have to pass some time, so run a circle, feed your cubs and then come back to the cave. So guys this is the ending, press the cross button to wake up. Now go left and save all your cups. Pick up one by one and get them out of the water. So for now all you have to do is go to the right for a few minutes. And be careful, just keep an eye on your cups. Sometimes one gets tired and you have to pick him up. This is important because you need to reach the forest with all four cups alive. Once you reach the forest the game is over and the credits will start roll. After the credits you will unlock the last trophies for finishing the game with all cups alive. So guys that's it, I hope you found this video useful, thanks for the attention, see you in my next one.